Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a practical example related to the vertical curve. So this is the statement of the example. There are two grades are there, G1 and G2. The positive gradient is meeting with the negative gradient. It means the type of curve would be a crest curve. Let's say this is G1 of 3% and this is g2 of minus 2.4 percent so they are intersecting at the point which is called vertex over there the station is 52 plus 30 and elevation is 742.57 feet so same can be shown on the sketch so station at the vertex is 52 plus 30 and for elevation we know that that is actually the distance from the datum so let's say this is the datum line so the distance would be the vertical distance from datum up to the vertex point so that is given 742.57 feet and it's also given that this is an equal tangent parabolic curve that has a length of 100 feet so let's say if this is the center so the beginning point would be 400 feet on the left side so this would be the beginning point then and 400 feet on the right hand side that will be the ending point of the vertical curve it is being asked to compute and tabulate the curve elevation at the full stations. So we don't know the station at BVC and EVC, but we know the station at the vertex. Then we can calculate the stations at BVC and EVC, but we have to calculate the curve elevation at full stations. And also we are being asked to compute the station and elevation of the curve's high point. As this is a crest curve, so there would be a high point. First, we need to calculate the station the horizontal distance then we can calculate the elevation so to determine the elevation at different points on the vertical curve the formula is where YBVC is the elevation at the beginning point of the vertical curve G1 is the grade 1 X is the distance from the beginning point of the vertical curve and R is the rate of change of rate we have discussed about this equation in previous video so looking at this equation, we don't know the, the elevation of the beginning point of the vertical curve. So how we can do it, we know the elevation at the vertex. So if we know this vertical distance, this vertical distance, then we can have the elevation at the BBC. So how we can do this, we know that this is uh, the grade of 3% and the horizontal distance is 400 feet. So then we can calculate the vertical distance by simply multiplying the grade with the horizontal distance. So this vertical distance would be exactly 12 feet. So elevation at vertex is uh, 742.57 subtracting 12 from it. So then we will be having the elevation at YBVC as 730.57 feet. Now let's move on for the calculation of the elevation at uh, full stations and uh, tabulating them. So this is the table that we need to prepare. So first we need to have the station at the beginning point of the vertical curve that we don't know right now but we can easily calculate by simply subtracting the horizontal distance from the station of vertex so on subtracting the station at pvc would be 48 plus 30 so when we are on uh, bvc the x distance will be exactly zero but uh, we have uh, the ybc distance so that is 730.57 x is zero so this term will also be zero here let me define the rate of change of rate which is actually calculated using this formula where g is grade and l is the length of the vertical curve so when we do the calculations we will have the r value as this one since x is zero at pvc so this term will also be zero now curve elevation is actually addition of y v c g one x and uh, r or two x squared term so adding these three we will be having the curve elevation same as that of 730.57 now as it is being asked to calculate the elevation at the full stations so next full station would be 49 plus 00, 0 because that is the full station this is 48 plus 30 the YBVC so next full station would be 49 plus 00, 0 the full station that I'm talking about and respective full stations would be up till here we will be having the x distance as 770 so the last or the station at EVC would be 56 plus 30 so x distance at 49 plus 00, 0 would be 70 feet because on adding 70 we will be on 49 plus 00, 0 and at 50 it will be 170 and so on up to 770 and the last one would be 
of 30 feet so it will be exactly 800 and we know that by bvc is the one that is going to be constant at uh, every station so writing is same but g1x will be different because uh, at every station the x distance is different so for the next station this will be uh, g1x trump and uh, this will be the rx square by 2 trump and adding these three we are going to have the curve variation at 49 plus 00, 00 as this one clearly for the respective stations you can see that the curve elevation is increasing but at this point you can see the curve elevation is now reducing it means we have now passed the high point and this point is now lower than the previous one because now there is a declination of the curve over there and uh, this is how the calculations would be done so this will be the curve elevation at evc 732.97 so the next thing that is being asked to us is the calculation of the stationing and elevation of high point. So we have got the maximum curve elevation at complete station of 53 plus 00, 00 but this may not be the high point. For high point we have discussed in the previous video that we need to calculate first the x distance at which we are going to have the maximum elevation so this is being calculated using this formula minus z1 over r so on putting the value we are going to get the x distance as 444.44 feet it means at a distance of 444.44 from bbc we are going to get the high point so now we can easily calculate the stationing of the high point by simply adding this x distance with the stationing of the bbc so on adding we are going to get the stationing of high point as 52 plus 74.444 feet now how we can calculate the elevation of high point that will be done by simply putting the x value of 444.444 in this equation to get the elevation of the high point so in this equation y bbc is known g1 is known x will be this one and r is known and also this x is known of 444.44 so simply putting into this equation we are going to get the reduced level or elevation at the high point as 737.2367 feet now if you look at the computation table we have got the elevation of 737.2367 one at 53 but the maximum point is in between 52 and 53 that is at 52 plus 74.44 stationing it means the high point is in between these two points and as calculated the maximum distance is 737.2367 feet slightly greater than the curve elevation that we have got at 53 complete station so this is how the calculation is done when we are setting out a vertical curve because this is a parabolic curve so simply putting the value of x wherever we want the elevations so using this equation we can easily do so this is how the calculations for setting out of vertical curve is done and this is all from this video i hope now you have got concept how to set out a vertical curve thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next coming videos thank you